Well, today's expedition, we uh, jumped this fence here and we had to trek through all of this overgrown area to get to a Tennessee Coal and Iron Company Steelworks. And as you guys may have, if you're alive with me, uh, two days ago I had slipped and broke my my tripod mount or my phone mount and I kind of whipped together a little something that's why you see this little knob here it's really the best option I have at the moment um, but we're gonna go through through these weeds and check it out and I'll probably take some photos along the way all right let's go I'll be able to bring you guys up above this all these weeds here in just a moment I don't even know if you guys can hear me yeah you should be able to hear me Whoa. hey glad you're here what's up John we are exploring an abandoned uh, TCI steelworks Good stuff, good stuff. I just had to climb over this fence. Most of it's barbed wire, but there's a little section here that doesn't have barbed wire on it. Thank God. What's up, Uncle Festers? Shout out to Ohio. Hopefully my, my mount doesn't break. I kind of like whipped up something real quick. It's kind of funny. <laughs> You know what I could do is I could turn my camera around, which I'm gonna have to do and get get rid of this little knob that's in the screen here. Cause that's, oh, these are all thorns, all thorns. Dude, these are sharp. What's up, NH girl? Man, you guys are, on a ball, on a roll with my live streams. You catch me every time. Ow. So TCI stands for Tennessee Coal and Iron. And it's a, yeah, Tennessee Oil and Iron Company. So it's based out of uh, Tennessee and they, I think they originally ended up um, purchasing mines and uh, some property in Alabama that supplied a lot of the Sloss furnaces and a lot of uh, coke furnaces throughout Alabama and mainly in Birmingham. And Birmingham was founded in 1885, um, not 1885, 1871 I should say. And eventually they built their rail railroads. Whoa, that is a hole. Yeah, they built their railroads to uh, transport all the minerals, and that's how Birmingham was thriving back in its day. But uh, yet again, I find myself somewhat in the ghetto, and I just heard a noise. My car is over there, and I have a whole bunch of stuff in my car, so. Kind of sucks because yesterday I was looking for a mine that I had pinned on my map and I was walking through the woods and I, I lost my alarm remote to my car and I can't really set my alarm anymore. Huh. Alright, well let's keep going. We're here, there's no turning back. So, I'm gonna get to those silos and might be able to climb something, but first I'm gonna fix my mount so you don't see the knob in the, in the preview or in the screen. All right, one second. I think this will work. This mount is kind of sketch, but it's working. 
Yeah, the weather, the weather is a little warmer today, thankfully. Might end up taking off my jacket. <laughs> Thanks. Oh no. Okay. Haha. No knob. But now my my microphone is facing away from me. Okay, so right now I have my microphone or my facing away from me. So tell me if you can hear me clearly and I'll make sure I speak up. And let me know in the comments, right now. Oh, 24 degrees, that's, that's cold. <laughs> it's too cold for me. So, let's see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I gotta be careful with my mount. I'm gonna have to look at my screen every now and then so I can see what you guys are saying. Ow! I have a thorn in my shoe, I think. Thank God, dude, there's a trail right here. That's awesome. Ooh, yeah, there's a freaking thorn in my shoe. I can't believe I, I whipped up this mount so well. Ooh. Yeah, I feel it's pretty comfortable out today. I love it. Let's see what we got over here. This isn't much of a trail though. There's still thorns. I don't like these thorns. This place is covered in thorns. Okay. Whew. All right, you guys, so last time I went live, I was at um, an abandoned hospital, which was massive. There were like five abandoned, just five blocks of abandoned buildings. And uh, I told you guys I'd go there at night, so I'm gonna be doing that um, either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know yet. Let's see how, how I feel. Ooh, I'm gonna be climbing some stuff today. Oh god. This trail sucks. And this mount almost works better than my, my other mount. It's actually a little smoother too. And that was the worst time to lose my alarm remote for my car because I'm back in the ghetto. Um, my car's parked over there. So I can't hear if my alarm's going off or if someone's breaking into my car, which kind of worries me. All right, let's get somewhere. I'm not really getting far. So this, this uh, steel works, it's probably going to be a furnace and then there's um, some of the main lines, the main uh, 
railroad lines come through here. There's a huge yard in front of it. I'm definitely not following the main trail, but hopefully I'll find it here shortly. GoPro. Yeah, I got it in my bag. Never mind. Oh my gosh. It just gets worse. It's getting worse. I keep thinking I'm really close, but... I'm not. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over to this. Structure. It's concrete structure. I'm hoping there's going to be a trail over here. Oh, thank God. It opens up right here. So I'm almost done editing my mine video. It's coming out all right. And I love that, how it looks. like storage silos some sort I guess I kind of forgot about a flashlight. I'm gonna have to grab my flashlight in a minute. Sorry if I'm not very responsive to the comments. My setup is a little different to where I can't see. Can I even get in there? I don't think so. A lot of woodwork in here. I'm gonna get my phone or my, my flashlight. There's no getting in there, I don't, I'm not really sure what that's, uh, what that is used for. Whoa, is that a steel cable? It's huge. What a steel cable. Holy crap. That's amazing. It's the biggest one I've seen. Well, I really don't know how I'm going to be navigating this place. 
very well. It's all overgrown. Thank God it's uh, winter time though. Well, not really seen an easy way to get through here. There's supposed to be this huge metal like, cast iron structure that looks like a bowl and it's raised in the air. I don't know if there's some sort of like, they would dump everything out of it or what, but I really want to find that. It had some very artsy details to it. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. That's it. You can see it. Yeah, right, right there. I couldn't go inside the silos. It's all like blocked off in there. It's all, there's a whole bunch of wood in there. But uh, I'm gonna go right there. Yeah, the silos right there, and they're nothing special, honestly. It'd be cool if you can get up there, but I don't know. I keep hearing something over here. Sounds like a, an animal. Right. So, I'm following a path that looks like people have been through, through this part. Yeah, check out this path. This is nice. It's nice to find. What up, Gary? Holy hell. Yeah, these stones. It's a good sign to follow. Another pathway. Oh no, more thorns, more thorns. That's not fun. We are at a TCI Steelworks, still in Alabama. Um, so TCI stands for Tennessee Coal and Iron. And uh, this was definitely part of the, the steel revolution back in its day. I don't know too much history about it. Through the trees. Oh god. Please tell me I can get through it. It's an old structure.
<laughs> Jesus. Almost there. It's a big thorn stuck on some vines, sorry. There's some big thorns, oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Thorns. I should be leaving Birmingham either tonight or in the morning. Oh yeah. Um, so you guys can actually find information on this place on Abandoned Southeast, but it is uh, referred to as TCI Steelworks. Oh my god. There's a ladder on this thing. This thing is tall. It's pretty cool. Trying to see if there was anything written on that brick. Oof. There was one. There was one big chunk of rust. So it looks like this is a furnace. Yeah, you can see the little opening there. What's up, Finders Beepers? Shout out. So we started over at those silos. I jumped a fence over there. And this has one, been one hell of a journey to get through all this, all these thorns and and vines, but we finally made it to the first smokestack. And we got another one. That'd be awesome, finders beepers. Hit me up if you're uh, in the US, definitely. I'm on the east side of the US. And we are in Alabama still. And right now I'm headed towards the little, the big like, uh, metal bowl is what I refer to it as. But it's uh, got some really cool um, decals on it. You can see it behind those trees there. So, yeah, let's go. I don't know if I should go this way or down this way. This way looks a little more uh, comfortable. Go, the, go to the path of least resistance. So that's what I'm doing today. Oh, damn. Almost slipped. Looks like there was a structure here at one point. Lots of brick. A lot of bricks I've found in the steel, uh, the steel works have like engravings on them. It's really cool. You can see there's a huge wall. Man, that is amazing. That's probably about four, three hundred feet. I don't know. 
forgot I was zoomed in. Yeah, now we're getting to the good stuff. Man, look at all of this. Looks like this is how they would uh, bend the metal around these bricks. I don't know if, what that's for, but they have metal, a metal layer over these bricks. Yeah, so everybody who's just joining, we are at a TCI Steelworks in Alabama. And TCI stands for Tennessee Coal and Iron. Um, they originated in Tennessee, obviously, but they came to Alabama and purchased some, some property to, because they found tons of iron out here. And you'll guys learn more about that in my next upload. I'll check out that building. That looks cool. That's gonna be the ender most likely, but that'll be awesome sight, an awesome sight. And I wonder how cars get back here. I feel like I have thorns in my shoe still. Man, I love these places. There's just so much mining history here. So, um, the steel industry had completely gone to rubble in the 1960s, and that's when basically all of the mines in Alabama or Birmingham had shut down. And then once, uh, once the war started, I mean, I think a lot of the mines actually closed earlier than that because then there was the Civil War which reopened the mines for uh, the army and, and military to produce weapons. This almost looks like a crusher, but I could be wrong. Looks like you can go under there. Shit, I still have my toothbrush in my pocket. <laughs> Some graffiti. Yeah, that thing. That big bowl looking thing. That's crazy. There's a tree growing in it. That's so awesome. Yeah, thanks for the support. Huge shout out. I saw Steve Ronan was, uh, where was he? England, I think? I follow him on Facebook. That's amazing. Now, the question is, how do I get back up there? out my shoes. How do I get back up there? Actually, let's go see what's in this little opening here. I got a little ahead of myself. I got kind of excited to see this big bowl. Yeah, that must have been when they would pour molten, molten steel or something out of there. At least that's what it looks like. This place is cool. So if you guys um, 
haven't seen about a year ago I came to Republic Steel which is right down the road and I got some really awesome footage there that place is amazing and it definitely reminds me of, of Republic Steel there's another steel cable Lots of rusted metal. Ooh, is that a tunnel? There are tunnels. I don't know how far it goes. Just got a text message. Yeah, I'm going in for sure. So I'm gonna set you guys down. Hey, make sure you guys refresh. I just lost connection. Oh, welcome back. I totally uh, slipped my mind and didn't realize that I'd lose connection once I go under that big concrete slab. All right, I'm gonna grab my my batteries for my light and I'm gonna go in these tunnels real quick and uh, I'll see if there's anything cool in there What up, Christina? Yeah, we are at uh, TCI Steelworks, still in Alabama. We just found some tunnels and lost connection, obviously. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside and I got my, shit. I got my flashlight all set up, hopefully. My Nebo flashlight's kind of janky. But I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take some photos, um, just to see what's in there. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, these places are amazing. They have a lot of deep uh, rooted history and a lot of mining history here too. But I just went inside the tunnel there and it's basically what you guys saw before you all lost connection. <laughs> But let's move on. It's all right in there. I mean, it's not that cool. It's creepy, but. Back in the open, supreme service. Just came from the tunnels. Uh, yeah, those little, that little like stack right there is uh, where it like goes up in the tunnel. It's creepy, but it's really not that cool.
But I, I want to get up to this, this bowl thing. There's a tree growing in it. I don't know how to get up there. I might have to go around. Maritha. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. What's up, Christina? Sorry we uh, lost connection. We might have might have lost some of the viewers. Man, that thing looks so cool. I gotta take a good photo of that. I honestly wanna climb it, so. Like, opens up here, too, again. Hold up, is that, a, is that an opening? All right, I'm gonna turn this around. So we're going to go to that um, near the end, or uh, I'm first going to try to go up around and uh, get a closer look at this. Yeah, we'll definitely have to watch that finders beavers. Human monsters. What are you doing here? You hate on my on my channel all the time. <laughs> you uh <laughs> I mean, you tend to point out the flaws in my channel, but hey, it's nothing, nothing personal, right? Just, you know, critiquing feedback, which I respect. And usually, you know, you got some point behind it, so. We are at TCI Steelworks today. Freaking notifications, man. All right. I'll just keep following this trail. Hmm. Too bad those ladders are up really high. I'm thinking that is a vulture. He went that way though, so. Man, this building looks so cool. I don't know if I'll be able to get up to the ladder there. You can actually see these uh, these towers from the highway. And I saw the ladder, I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome, but it's kind of hard to get to. Oh my gosh. This might be hard trek. All right, I'm gonna go up this slope and then head back that way. I wonder if there was a better place for me to park. <laughs> Hope I get back to my car and everything's still in there. No broken windows. That looks pretty uh, sick, I gotta admit. I love the color scheme. Nice. I wonder how old that is. Ooh, you gotta be careful around here. There's lots of rusted metal.
Yeet. What a view. Might be hard to get through. <laughs> Almost fell. Okay. Yeah, there's a little trail here. I think we'll be all right. So each one of these towers is basically a furnace. And they're probably pretty toxic fumes that come out of here. That's why they're so tall. Yeah, look how far up that ladder is. It's too far up for me. Plus, I don't know if I'd be able to get to the top of that. I'm not good with ladders. Especially old rusted ladders. Oh, this is a better view of the furnace. Looks like it goes pretty far down. Here, one second, my light. Stripped. Come on, we're waiting. I'm kind of afraid to put my phone in there because this is like a makeshift mount. Oh wow, that goes really far down. Before I put my phone in there, I'm gonna look down myself. Oh, shit. We're just all over the place today. So that goes down uh, maybe uh, 60 feet. Yeah, I'll be going back to Dozier for sure. Here, I'm gonna take this off the mount. See you, Christina. We're gonna look down the silo here. see the bottom about the top looks pretty neat see you Christina
Have a good day at work. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know if I'll be going back to Dozier. I'm not sure what I'll be headed back through Florida again, to be honest with you. But I definitely plan to, like I want to. Don't get me wrong. Because Dozier is quite, quite an interesting area. So we are headed to that little bowl thing. Now that we got a better look in these silos, or these smokestacks. I wonder if they're just melt iron in there and make steel, or if that was coal, I don't know. Yeah, enjoy yourself. <laughs> no, it's okay, uh, human monsters. I just didn't know uh, what you're trying to get at. No offense taken, for real, like. It's all good. I'm a pretty easy going person, most of the time. So that ladder's a little shorter comes down a little further. Okay, we finally made it to the to this thing. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I pronounce words wrong, like foliage. I don't know. Discovery Island, I was just really, honestly, like out of my element. I was kind of low on food and dehydrated, so that's just me. I don't always get my words out right. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right, for real. I'm actually pretty good with criticism. Wow, look at the gear on that. Holy shit. So yeah, this thing would definitely dump, would dump uh, molten lava or steel, probably right right down here and I don't know if there's like some sort of could dump it into a truck or maybe go into a little a little trough or something yeah I'm a little dyslexic myself So, I understand. Whew. Yeah, look at the gear on that. Here, I'll have to zoom in. Back up again. It's crazy. I wonder if there's a way to get on top of that. Yeah, definitely, I am. But this place is pretty chill. I don't think you're even like, I mean, it's different in Orlando. Yeah, it's definitely different in Orlando. The cops are a little more 
uptight over there, but in Birmingham it's a lot more chill. This place is, uh, yeah, this place is way, way out of, like, commission, so there's no way, like, I don't think I'm even technically trespassing. I, I don't know whose property this is, though, to be honest. We are in Alabama. So cool. I really want to climb up there. Yeah, I did have a barbed wire fence, but I read online that this place you you're technically not trespassing, but that's just from someone who previously came here. But this place is way out of like way out of the way. I mean, nobody's looking over this place. It's just it's just basically cool. No, I didn't see the tornadoes, but I've heard a lot about it. I've seen some comparison photos like aerial photos and uh those tornadoes did a lot of damage. They definitely did a number on Alabama. My tetanus shot is not up to date. But I've been doing this for a year and I've never really had any issues, but if I do get pricked by something rusty, I can always get a tetanus shot. And I'm not really good with needles. Um, I'll probably pass out, so. <laughs> That's just how I've been my whole life. I'm just setting this up so I can kind of climb. I think that's the best view I'm gonna get.
Dang. Right when I uh, went up there, my phone went into low power. All right. I don't even know if you guys saw me get up there. It was like a huge trough. Here, let me show you guys something real quick. So all of this, this stuff right here is, is brown stuff. Yeah, sorry about that. Right when I um, left my camera, my phone went into low power mode and I uh, just climbed up this thing. But all this, uh, this brown stuff, that's all molten metal. Yeah, my phone, oh my gosh. I wanna take you guys up there. Yeah, I'll take you guys up there. Gotta plug in my phone though. Actually, forget it. Let's go to the building. It's pretty cool up there. I mean, there's like a trough. And then there's actually a huge icicle. <laughs> it's so weird to see ice. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It froze because my phone went into low power mode and so I'm gonna have to plug in my phone here shortly. Ow. 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 So yeah, that thing is pretty cool. It's a huge chunk of metal. And pour molten lava out of there and there's a whole bunch of molten lava just sitting on it. <laughs> here, uh, you know what? I really want to show you guys this thing. I keep kind of going, I'm going back and forth. I'm a little indecisive. You're right. That would have been good footage. So we're going back up. We are going back up here. Definitely. Ooh. Gotta plug you guys in. All right, we're gonna go up, sorry. We are going up again. I'm gonna plug you guys in too. <laughs> yeah, let's go up. Got you plugged in. I don't know if I'll be able to bring you guys up there with me because I got you plugged in, but maybe I could try. Plus we'll get a better view up there too.
Sorry, I'm just adjusting my mount. Let's see if we can do this. Now we are up on top. Check this out. These gears are absolutely insane. Huge icicle right there. That's so weird to see. Yeah, it's all rusted. It's insane. All right, so I think our next stop will be that building. We just went through all of this and uh, we came back through here. We got a good look in those uh, towers. Um, but anybody who's joining right now, we are at a TCI Steelworks. And TCI stands for Tennessee Coal and Iron Company. It's a really big hunk of metal. Yeah, all this rubble right here, that's all molten metal. It's nasty. Oh yeah. So we're gonna head to this building next. In fact, right now. There's a lot of metal in here. <laughs>
That's a mess. All right, let's get out of here. Move on to that next building. Yeah, that thing's amazing. I'm gonna come back this way once I end this live stream and get some good photos. out here too long getting worried about my car I'm actually getting kind of warm out here. Shout out to Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, my next destination is Knoxville. That's where Santi's at right now. Shout out to Santi because we're uh, we're about a state apart and. I definitely miss her. It's not as fun exploring solo like this. Yeah, so I'm in the process of moving. Oh, what up? Isaac, shout out. I'm actually in the process of moving and uh, Santi actually ended up going to Knoxville early so we could uh, separate our stuff and pack it uh, just because I only have so much room in my car. And her brother, who is Ike, you might see him right there, helped us out moving and that's just how it worked out. Man, I was really hoping I'd get be able to get to the top of that bowl.
This looks so cool. Whoa. I've got some family in Birmingham, so that's why I'm here making the most out of my my road trip, basically. So we just came from that that bowl, that metal bowl thing. It's really cool. And uh, this looks even cooler. How are you guys? So I've got some good things coming. I'm gonna be going live again tonight. Um, probably at that abandoned hospital. If not, it'll be at an abandoned school. Um, I'm still kind of deciding where I want to go, but uh, I gotta kind of. Sorry, you guys, my phone died, but I've got my battery pack here. I just had it plugged in in the wrong port, so it wasn't actually charging. And yeah, whoa. I am back. Let me adjust my tripod. Sorry about that. We'll wait for everybody to show up again. My tripod came a little loose. So thankfully, YouTube has a resume feature on my on my live my live stream. That definitely came in handy. But we're about to go inside. Hopefully, everybody comes back. This place looks even better. Well, there's still only two people here, but let's go. Whoa. Having too much fun out here. Where you guys at? So, if you guys don't already know, we were at uh, way over there. There's some silos, and then we followed these silos or the towers, smokestacks, I should say. And um, we just checked out that little uh, metal bowl, steel, molten steel porter, and we are back here. Well, I resumed my live stream and I don't think anybody is coming back, probably because there's no notification for it. This is all flooded out. It's okay to step on. <laughs> nah, that water looked nasty. So we just came from from that way. Check out this tile. That's cool. I guess there's some virgins in there. Yeah, this live stream is kind of a disaster. Still fun though.
But yeah, that metal bowl was pretty cool. See the old lights up there. I really gotta take you guys to Republic Steel. Maybe we'll find some stairs here. So if you guys know what this, what these were used for, these little compartments, comment down below. Just looks like there's some tubes. I don't know what that is. People are slowly starting to come back, but still not many people. I want to find out how to get up there. Someone got up there. It's like a balcony. It looks nice. Sorry, lost connection, guys. My phone died. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, steel production is quite intense. Yeah, the, the air quality around around here is still pretty bad. And I think it's destroyed a lot of uh, the neighborhoods here. Welcome back, you guys. We're still at the TCI uh, Steel Steelworks. Pretty centered, I think. I'm gonna go up there. Alright, I'll be right back.
You guys still here? Yeah, I'm actually gonna get a good photo of this. Um, there's actually, you can't get up there, but you guys, I'm, I think I'm gonna take you guys up there. There's some really cool stuff up there. There's a control room. There are no stairs, no stairs to get up there. And there's the old like wooden stairwell that goes up to a third floor. It's amazing. I'm gonna take you guys. Man, this is so cool. I think this part of the building is a little more preserved because there's no way to get up there without climbing stuff. But I'm gonna take you guys up there. It's amazing. So these wooden, these or these pillars you see, they look like the bottom, the banister, I think they're called, of a stairwell. They look like they're wooden, but those are metal. Those are just all metal right there. That is a work of art. Oh yeah, you can see the stairs. So yeah, that's where the stairs used to be. No wonder. <laughs> that's a very good observation. So what I did was I climbed up through here. There's a little hole in the ceiling. So I'm gonna take you guys. We are going to the control room. It's honestly kind of a sketchy climb going up through here but uh, cause you kind of have to weave in and out of metal, but I'm gonna do my best. There's a control room up here. You guys need to stay to check this out. We made it. We literally just came up under the control board here. Look, I just came through this hole. There's the control room. This is so cool. There's a whole bunch of fuse panels. Thank God you guys are still here. It's incredible. Check out how old those lamps look. There's a lot of uh, artistic detail in this building. The architecture is amazing. Look at this old wooden stairwell. That's so cool. What a view. So these things, metal, solid metal. I think those were wood, but no. There is a vine growing out of whatever metal. So, my guess is this control room would overlook 
Um, these ovens, they're probably some sort of ovens here. I'm not really sure. If you know what this, uh, what this is, or what this used to be, let me know for sure. I can hear a train right now. The yard is like straight over there. go to the third floor. <laughs> it's amazing the stairwell still hold me up. I love it over here. Gotta watch my step though. So I have a feeling this was definitely some type of furnace or control room for the rest of the site. Looks like there's uh, some insul insulators here. So all the electrical stuff came out this way. Nails. What do you say? Let's go to the roof. <laughs> there is nothing up here. Oh. So this is the roof. There's the train yard way over there. And oh, the Ens Ensley McCormick building is straight over there. You might be able to see a star on top. I wanted to check that out. That might be a next live stream. Yeah, the birds are everywhere out here. But as you can see, there's no flooring. The flooring has all rotted out and collapsed. But that's where we came from earlier. Oh yeah, so this is a Coke furnace. Coke works. They're numbered. Furnaces 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, 18, just keeps going. So if you guys haven't seen yet, um, I've given, given some pretty good history on a Coke furnace named Republic Steel. It's, it, it's in this area, but uh, be sure to check it out. It's in my videos. It's called Republic Steel Climbing and Abandoned Coke Furnace. But yeah, you guys. I'm gonna grab some photos here shortly, and uh, I'm just gonna be a little careful. But I'm gonna end. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall. I'm actually gonna end the live stream here. Uh, I'm gonna get some good photos of this place with my GoPro. But um, yeah, that's it. This place was actually really cool. I'm glad I came to this building and just kept going up. Um, but thanks for joining. Be sure to look out for new content. 
I've got a new video. I'm working on my mining video. Um, that'll be done very shortly in a day or two. But uh, yeah, this live stream has gone on for a long time. Yeah, I'm on Instagram too. Be sure to check out my website, standardstealth.com. I've got exclusive content there, a lot of good photos that I just haven't posted anywhere else. And you can find my latest videos on my video page. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for joining. I'll catch you all later. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted.